All right, Weekend Motor here uh, with a quick look at the top side and boot sequence of a uh, console wired up here with uh, what is being called RGH 1.2. So what you can see here is that this console has wired up to it. You, you notice that there's no E and F point, but we have D, CPU RST, C, post out, B for standby click, A for PLL bypass, and then power and ground. Um, this is a regular Cool Runner Rev C. It's actually a knockoff clone uh, with all of the normal stuff left in place. So the JP bridge is there, and then over here, uh, 2, 3 is still bridged. Basically, nothing has changed. If you are a Rev C off of eBay, uh, you're going to get one of these. They're like six or seven bucks. Um, they're clones out of China. So the only top side point that you've got connected here is power. Uh, these are my NAND read write connections, which aren't necessary any longer because I've already got this console glitched. Uh, and what I want to show you here is how quickly it actually glitches. So watch for your pulse light here. It's going to blink a bunch of times because of the debug process. But watch how quickly uh, the console boot. Oh, I had a snug in the power connector. So power indicator's on now. You can see the, the red always on light. And all right, so blink, 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 blink. Oh, this is the first time it's gone two. Let's see if it's going to boot at two cycles. There we go. So it went two, two cycles this time. This console was an RGH, would have required RGH2 or a CR4. Um, it was on dashboard one, uh, 17349, the very current dashboard. So we'll power off again. I'll give you another, let's see if I can get a different angle. So... Blink, 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 blink. And instant boot, one boot, no cycles. They were booting up there. So we'll power off again. We'll do it one more time just to demonstrate. So blink, 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 blink. Successful boot. So two two cycle boots, or no two instant boots. One two cycle boot. Let's do one more. We'll do it. We'll do five total. I'm gonna give it a probably give four out of five instant boots. Do it again. Blink 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 blink. That's one cycle. Instant boot. So there's three out of four, so we'll power it off again. This is with a $7 chip. Um, 15432 over at the teamx360.co.uk is where the main portion of this information that I know about is at. Blink, 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 blink. And there we go. So he's got actually instructions for doing this using a... Uh, Ace V2, a Squirt 2.0, a um, Matrix, which is the same uh, XC264A chip that's on the Cool Runners. That's why you can use this. Um, so you can use this. I've done it with a CR3 Lite as well. Um, and the next portion of the video, I'm going to take this thing out of its case and then flip over and just give you guys a quick uh, preview on, uh, or, or quick and dirty on the wiring. Weekend monitor back here, uh, continuing the uh, RGH 1.2, uh, as it's being called. Uh, I, I want to follow up. In, in the first portion of the video, I said the only top side point is power. That's actually incorrect. Uh, the other three points are routed underside, but top side um, is connected to standby click here. It's the standard point used with all of the other um, ones there. I, I don't mind using this one because I, I really practice at soldering and stuff. There is an alternate for this on the underside of the board, much easier to solder to. No reason that you couldn't use that instead. Look up fat standby click S T B Y underscore C L K alternate uh, if you're not comfortable soldering to this location. It's really easy to knock that little tiny ass resistor off and uh, end up bricking your console. So to flip this thing over, I just want to give you the preview here. Uh, let me turn it around as well. Sorry. 
for the shaky cam. So what you can see here is this is my post out and yes uh, you can see that correctly this is actually using post one. So normally on a standard RGH2 install or excuse me post zero normally we use post one which is going to be this one here where, where I'm indicating currently. Let me see if I can rest my hand on here and get it a little steadier. Um, well, anyway, there's a, a space and then um, the connection is here actually to post zero. So I believe this is the same post point that the CR4 uses sometimes. And then down here we actually have the old school PLL bypass point. So if you look up the old RGH1 diagrams, um, that's where the PLL bypass is here. And then for CPU RST, um, this is the alternate that I first became aware of as an alternate that was suggested with uh, RJTAG. So the key with all of these is, number one, I found that Kynar, this really thin single strand stuff, works best with this method. And getting this stuff as absolutely short as possible. So you can see there's some little tiny holes here and here that have actually run post through and then PLL bypass through and poke those through. They actually come up just underneath the GPU and CPU heat sinks but if you kind of fish with them for a second, jiggle them down in there, you can fish them out without actually having to remove the heat sinks. And then for CPU RST I run just a straight L over and then up at this point and then I actually just wrap it around here. Usually I'll put a little bit of, of hot glue or at least uh, electrical tape here to also act as an additional insulator against rub so that, that doesn't get exposed. And then back to the top side of the board, you can see where those two come out, as I said, right on, underneath the heat sinks and they just run direct over to the chip and then there's where CPU RC comes out and runs direct over the chip. So I've done two consoles this way, one with a RevC, one with a CR3 light. Um, both on Falcons that I've had phenomenal results just like what you're seeing. I'm really impressed with this. Um, like I said, 15432, the Mad Russian over at teamx360.co.uk deserves all the credit. There's a section dedicated to RGH 1.2 over there. Uh, go check it out.